Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. Today I'm going to be doing the tag that everybody seems to have done, except for me, and that is the top 10 books that you would like to be stranded on a desert island with, colouring books. Um, it's a really fun tag. I've been watching everybody do it. It looks like it's fun, so I thought I'd join in. I'm a bit late to the party as usual, but things have been pretty hectic here. It was very hard to choose just 10, and there was one book I wanted to take, but it got relegated so I could put something else in. So, okay, so the first one you've seen on a lot of people have chosen this book, and that's Serene by Nicholas Philbert. Um, for me, I've only done one picture in it, which was this one. Um, so there's still lots to be done in here. You've all seen this book dozens of times, and it would keep me very, very busy on a desert island. Of course, we are assuming that we get to take all our pencils and stuff, right? And pens and, well, everything. Another one you've seen, again, is Hannah Lynn's Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. I love this book. I've only done the one picture in it, and that was the one we did as a current chat, which was uh, Waiting for Peter Pan. So I've got plenty of stuff to be doing in here. In fact, I, that, which was that one. And I really like that book. So I thought, you, you've got to have some Hannah Lynn, and the only other Hannah Lynn I've got is the Christmas one. And if I'm on a deserted tropical island, hopefully it's going to be nice all year round. I won't even know when Christmas is, so... Then I thought, I'm going to need a Jade Summer while I'm on there. So I thought I would take this one, which is the Live Your Dreams one, with all the uh, affirmations in it about all I want and I'll, I'll live what you love and have passion in your life. Because I think if you're stranded for a long time on a desert island, you're going to need some... a kick up the bum occasionally and make yourself feel a bit better. And this is a good one for that. I haven't done anything in it, so there's lots of pages for me to colour in there. Again, one you've seen on uh, practically everybody has picked is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Now, again, this one doubles as a storybook and a colouring book. I haven't done the cover. I've not quite finished the title page. I certainly haven't done the inside cover yet. I've done the book belongs to, and I've only done the one, this page here. I haven't done anything else yet, so I've got a long way to go in there. So while I'm uh, sitting on my tropical island, drinking fresh coconut milk. I can uh, enjoy the sunshine, I can just be reading and colouring ivy. Now for a touch of nostalgia for home, I've got to take Doctor Who, the Doctor Who colouring book. I, I like this book and again I, I haven't done very much in this book, I've done one picture which was the Weeping Angels if I can find it. It's one of the first ones, yeah, it, which was that one. Um, so yeah, there's lots in here and it's quite detailed in places. So, yeah, that would be quite fun. Because obviously if I'm sitting on my tropical island, I'm going to be missing the new series with Jodie Whittaker, which would not be good, so I need my Doctor Who fix. Another thing I miss on, on my tropical island would be my Terry Pratchett novels. So I would take the Terry Pratchett Discworld colouring book Again, I've only done the one in here, which is the double page of Hamish. I think it was Hamish or one of the Knack McFeagles. I'm not even sure if I can find it. Uh, it's in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. So we did it on camera. I don't know. There it is. Just gone past it. And I've got Granny. And there's just so much to do in this book, so. I can't find it. There it is. So that's the only one I've done in this book and I enjoyed that. So it was Hamish as well. So I'm going to enjoy colouring the rest of that book. Now you all know I love Selena Fennec so I'd have to take one of her books and the one I've chosen out of all my collection is Gothic. The dark fantasy colouring book. I think I've done a couple in this one. I'm not sure. I know I've done at least one because it's on my completed shelf. I've done two, I've done that one. She reminded me of Paige from Charmed, so that's why she's sort of got that red haired look going on. And I think there's another one I've done in here, but I don't know which one it is, but yeah. So I'd have to take that one, because I really like that book. The one that got bumped was Lost in London because I thought I might like to, you know, feel a bit nostalgic, dream of home and while London's not my home anymore, though I did live there once, I bumped in favour of Edwina McNamee's Dreamlings. This is a new one I've got. 
I have only just started colouring and spun. Literally, that's all I've done is on the title page. And I've got Dreamlings too, but I thought I'm only taking the one because hopefully I won't be there forever and I can get back to having that book when I get home. So I thought I'd take Dreamlings with me because I do like them. I think this is a lovely book. Another one that doubles up as a storybook is Fabiana Atanasio's The Wizard of Oz. Because I've got to have The Wizard of Oz because it's my favourite book. I have not done a single picture in here yet. So plenty to colour in there. Um, but also it's not always so detailed either. So if we can have a look. You know, that that's it's, although it looks very detailed, it's not particularly detailed. So there's some nice big spaces. You know, if, if Jennifer's stuck on this, this this tropical island with me and she's growing up there, perhaps she can have a colour as well. And the other book I thought I'd take was Colour It's Colour the Decades, considering I had to get this from America. I thought I'm going to have to take this with me. Again, I've only done one page in here and that's the title page. This Well, the, this book belongs to page. Um, did that with Sharpies and they, as you see that's there. But there's lots of pages in here. I really love this book, so I'd have to take it. So now I want to get in and colour this one because I know I can just use Sharpies for a lot of these things. So you know where there's no people I can use sharpies where there's people I, I could use my touch fives or for all my pencils so so just to recap we've got colour it colour the decades or colour of the decades the wizard of oz by fabiana atinato dreamlings by edwina mcnamee gothic dark fantasy by selena fennec the discworld colouring book by paul kidby the doctor who colouring book Obviously, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And we have Live Your Dreams by Jade Summerbrand. Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings by Hannah Lynn. And of course, Serene by Nick Philbert. So those are the 10 I would personally take to a desert island if I was going to be stranded there for any time. But of course, I would only agree to be stranded there if I can have Jennifer with me because I'm not going anywhere without her. It's that simple. So I need to take my, my Jennifer as well as all my books and pens and stuff. Because, yeah. So that's what I would take. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back soon with another colouring catch up. I'm determined to keep up trying to do one a week from now on. Um, I'm sort of getting into some sort of routine with Jennifer and get everything sorted. So hopefully we'll be able to keep that up. So I will see you all very, very soon with another video. Cheers. Bye now. <laughs>